All right, Hitchcock. I haven't seen much. All we saw was what we saw in here. Uh, what? Psycho. Uh, Dial M for Murder. Yep. We saw Rope. You've never seen The Birds? James Stewart. Hitchcock changed his image. He used to be the uh, Tom Hanks of his generation. Nice guy next door. I've seen more parodies of uh, Hitchcock than I've actually seen Hitchcock. This is a sweaty guy. Is that the guy in the movie UHF? That's the guy who was in Rope. Who was in the movie Rope we yeah, just Yeah, it's saw. the same guy from Rope. Same guy in Rope? Mm -hmm. The guy who was like, this guy's a murderer. Like, Yep. <laughs> same guy. He's the same guy from It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, it's, it's a, a Wonderful Life. Wonderful yeah, life. that yeah. guy. Okay. Christmas. Christmas. That was probably scandalous. You know the people in the 50s or whatever were like, woo! All of Hitchcock's movies, like, had something about them that caused scandals. Especially Vertigo with Kim Novak. Like, when she changed her appearance in that one, I remember being like, there's a white woman with baby hairs. So he's he's got a temperature and a broken leg. This guy is going through it. That's a creepy picture to have. Oh, I thought he was playing a harmonica. <laughs> Jeffrey's. Congratulations, Jeff. Getting rid of that cast. The wrong week. Next Wednesday. One week is gonna cost me my best photographer. Close your curtains and your door. Doing too much. Get over to the front and touch your toes. Too valuable to the magazine for us to play around with. I'll send Morgan or Lamb. Yeah, and you reward me by stealing my assignments. I didn't ask you to stand in the middle of that automobile racetrack. He's sweaty. He's so sweaty. If you don't pull me out of this swamp of boredom, I'm going to do something drastic. I'm going to get married. That's a threat. Everyone does all their tasks directly in front of the window in this neighborhood. People just don't really care. They're like, we're opening these windows. They don't even have like the thin screen. So just bugs flying right in. He could just do like The Rock in Fast and Furious 6, where he just breaks free from the cast and takes a bunch <laughs> of pain pills and continues to fight. I did Good morning. Hanging out with birds. Would you be fine with all this happening around you, bro? You got an apartment, you're just seeing all of this. I don't want to see this much. This is too much, bro. No one closes their windows on the block. New York State sentence for a peeping Tom is six months in the It's not even peeping if they're just standing in front of the windows doing this. You know, in the old days, they used to put your eyes out with a red-hot poker. For race of peeping Toms. What people ought to do is get outside their own house and look in for a change. Sir, how's that for a bit of homespun philosophy? I should have been a gypsy fortune teller instead of an insurance company nurse. Nose for trouble. Now at 10 miles away, market crash in 29. I predicted that. Get to looking out the window, see things you shouldn't see. I can see you in court now. A brother can look out the window. You've got a hormone deficiency. Those bathing beauties you've been watching haven't raised your temperature one degree in a month. And Lisa Fremont is the right girl for any man with half a brain who can get one eye open. Well, she's all right. She's too talented. She's too beautiful. She's too sophisticated. She's too everything but what I want. Oh, he's one of those. A man and a woman see each other and like each other. You want to come together. She's like a magical black Negro nurse. That's what <laughs> she is. She is. <laughs> Nothing has caused the human race so much trouble as intelligence. There's far too much going on in these windows. They're intentionally like, I know there's other rooms in your apartment. You don't have to be standing right in front of this window all the time. They are purposely stand. You have to stand at a specific angle to where all three of you are visible. Is this like that one movie that uh, they made a soft remake of with Shia LaBeouf? Yes, it is. Shia LaBeouf was the soft remake. Who is she? I don't know. Oh, God. Yeah, close your window. Close it. They probably sleep with it open, bro. I'm gonna see all these, like, heads in beds just sleeping peacefully with the lights on. I love the way this is shot, though. That's Hitchcock. Everything looks great, but sometimes the stories don't make sense. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why she looks like a demon. She's looking creepy to me. How's your leg? That she's directly in his face? I don't like it. Can we also talk about how Jimmy Stewart keeps getting girls that are way out of his league? This is this I is the woman that the nurse is trying to tell him he needs to wife. lock down. A steal at eleven $1 hundred dollars. That's a lot now. That's too much now. I need to find out how much it is adjusted for inflation. I need it's twelve thousand six hundred and eighty-nine dollars. It's cracked and you never use it. It's too ornate. 
I'm sending up a plain flat silver one with just your initials engraved. No way to spend your hard-earned money. This, okay, she loves him. You gotta get with this girl. You gotta get over yourself. You need to put a ring on that. Look at, you got Gordash to. Gordash before Gordash <laughs> existed. And she doesn't care that you looking bummy. You're you know sweaty. he's musty. You know he is not showered. Right? <laughs> I've never seen anyone that was like in a cast for a long period of time that wasn't musty. Because they are not showering as much as they did beforehand. Thank you, Miss Freeman. Have a pleasant dinner, Mr. What Dick. is his accent? Pass to the ward off a quick drink with Madame Dufresne. With Madame Dufresne? It's my homegirl, Madame Dufresne. <laughs> yeah, that's my name. Wonderfully cool. Yeah. She had on the... This girl is so in love with him. Get You gotta get I... over this, bro. You could pick your assignment. Well, I wish there was one I wanted. Make the one you want for yourself. I love how he's laughing at her. She's trying, she's like, I can get you easy jobs. I can get you high paying, easy jobs. If I could be a sugar baby, I would. I hate, dude, they are setting up their apartments to, for everything to be <laughs> in front of the window. The kitchen. Their dinner table in front of the window. I never had a dinner table in front of a window. Never. Before. I want you to see me get stood up. Is she pretending to be on a date? Just girly things. <laughs> no, I just right. know if this was modern, this would be an in-sale guide. <laughs> in front of a window. So the whole block knows you're lame. And she's gonna cry. It was like a bunch of death and brutality in the Shia LaBeouf one. Hitchcock only kills pretty girls. If my whole block had their windows open like this, I would do the same. Is it is it even wrong <laughs> if you, everybody's just <laughs> wanting? Pick the most prosperous looking one. She's not in love with him. How can you tell that from here? You said it resembled my apartment. Perry Mason has been old forever. Forever. Old man. Oh, what's about to go down? I would at least close a window before I murder somebody. To do that. Just don't think these through. Or murder them in the in-between gap? Is he gonna, like, take pictures and stuff? He's like, why I oughta? My wife. I hate my wife. He's like, get out of here. That's Albert Hitchcock. Has Alfred Hitchcock ever had a full head of hair in his No, he's never career? had a, Never. I can't even imagine him with a head of hair. You gotta marry her, bro. You got to. Right? Is that lobster? Lobster. Get the heck out of here. That's a whole lobster. Yeah, you need, you need to marry her. Get she brought you lobster. She brought you lobster <laughs> and champagne. You need to marry her. Stop being the salty. It's perfect. As always. I, I live such a stressful life. Beautiful, rich women just love me so often. <laughs> You'll eat, talk, drink, laugh, wear clothes. Well, now look. Now look. I, I... If you're saying all this because you don't want to tell me the truth, because you're hiding something from me, then maybe... I'm only in love with the people from Windows. Right? <laughs> I need to be able to peep on people. <laughs> he wants to travel around and do his thing. Well, just be yeah. like, I'm going to we'll be a war photographer. Rain, Live with it. Rain. In this job, you carry one suitcase. Your home is the... You don't sleep very much, you bathe less. And sometimes the food that you eat is made from things that you couldn't even look at when they're alive. Right now, it doesn't seem so. I'm not the girl I thought I was. I mean, it's on her. She got to get away from this man if he's going to be like this. She's like, I'm coming back anyway. At least. Wait, I don't understand why he can't just do his job and she do her job and they just live, be married, like. Why does she need to just drop her whole life because he's a war photographer? That makes no sense. What? What are they doing? Oh, wait, they don't have air conditioning, so they just like, we're going to sleep on the fire escape. They had to take the mattress out? you never seen that? i never seen Back this in the before. old days when people didn't have air conditioning, they'd sleep on the fire escape. Well, I've had no air conditioning and there was I no just, fire escape for me. I so. just embraced it. I just I laid just, in I, the heat. I would never died. sleep on the couch because it was a leather couch. <laughs> He has a very good angle of everything. You don't even close the windows to your bathroom? That's the most unrealistic part of this movie, <laughs> is that every single person has their window open. I cannot get no back rub in front of an open window. What are you going to do if one of them catches you? Yeah, it depends which one. Maybe one day she'll find her happiness. Mm. Isn't there anybody in the neighborhood could cast an eye in her direction? It's stay, then it is to run. Yeah, well... Take the particularly low type of man to do it. Is that out of sight? I could see pretty well. <laughs> You'll see it. I'm not shy. I've been looked at before. That's the kind of a look a man gives when he's afraid somebody might be watching him. I would close the window. Bye, Mr. Jeffrey. See you tomorrow. Would he be cleaning up a suitcase? What was he carrying in the suitcase? 
Take those binoculars out of the case and we'll just go and Shia LaBeouf with it. Like, no one's gonna notice the dude with the binoculars. I would just use a laser pointer all day. Why would you do that? <laughs> Everyone has a knife. Windows. <laughs> just... Oh, he's just setting up jewelry. Oh, a saw. Oh. He's just doing his thing. He was just cutting food. Was he dismembering a cow in his apartment? I always uh, use a saw to saw my meat. Dude, you you and your boxers, you gotta <laughs> close the window, bro. Close the... You don't clean your apartment and your boxers in front of an open window? I clean my place in a snowsuit, in a full turtleneck sweater, <laughs> with every window closed. Oh, okay. You're still doing this? I thought it was over. She okay. said, I'll be back. This is her fault. He said, we're not gonna... <laughs> He said, you're not gonna fit my life. She's like, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> they better not be premarital up in here. <laughs> He's trying to talk about murder and she's trying to get laid. I mean, that's how you gotta get these new crime girls. That's where his wife welcomes him home. No, 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 no. These new crime girls be falling asleep to like the crime documentaries every night. Yep, the Unabomber documentaries, all the type of stuff. Woo. The girl's like, all right, going to sleep. And they click and it's like the most and he, and he dismembered the bodies and threw them in the sink. I'm like, what is going on here? I've had that happen. <laughs> you hear what I said? You're beginning to skip. Oh, no rope. Oh, there's, there's a window. Those are the weakest blinds ever. There's so many gaps. Right, right. Those can't even be called blind. Those are like those Kanye glasses that you could see through. <laughs> the way you are with binoculars and, and wild opinions about every little thing you see is is disease. What, like a madman? What makes you think there's something the matter with A lot them? of things. She's an invalid. She demands constant. You think a murder would let you see all that? In this neighborhood, they definitely would. Let's start from the beginning again, Jack. <laughs> now she's on it? Right. Tell me everything you saw. Oh, she's out there doing investigation work? She's gonna die for sure. Lost door. What's the number of the apartment on? Oh, I know. You go home and get some sleep, huh? He's talking affectionately. That's the only place where he could have washed away the blood. Now she's getting the nursing on the murder? I'm surprised the whole neighborhood was not gonna be watching him by the end of the movie. Those are just shippers. They're shipping stuff. Ship it to your house. I would be upset. I just let it go. This isn't my business, bro. This is white on white crime. I won't report this to the department. Let me poke it. Uh oh, that dog's gonna get into his petunias. That dog's gonna die. He's gonna kill the dog. For the country. I see. I see. This is a pretty convenient guy, the superintendent. Have you checked his bank statements lately? Well, it's possible both. <laughs> well, then do a good job of it. Go over there and search Thorwald's apartment. It He's just like, I happens. don't care. Sure you don't get caught, that's all. Find something, you've got a murder, and they don't care anything about a couple of house rules. If you don't find anything, the fellow's clear. You know, by tomorrow morning, there may not be any evidence left over in that apartment. Well, sir, anything you need, Jeff? You might send me a good detective. You know, yeah. this is pan out a little longer with this uh, why are you holding the foot shot tarantino up in here i hate that, sh that they use this to walk their dog does she have a real date this time she's gonna have a date with death maybe oh, she's leaving somebody could just be like yo you know this guy over there with the big camera that's watching <laughs> everyone the guy's probably i would assume he was taking pictures of me he had a wife he, it's just only his clothes well she's away she's in the trunk like too short Oh, Miss Doyle? Yes. What well, is Jeff again? Has Tom come in yet? Not yet, Jeff. You know she's dead. Yeah. No woman goes anywhere without her purse. I don't go anywhere without my purse. Without my opium. Just rifling through a purse in front of the window. Your shorty's gonna die. You can't be sending your shorty on missions. Go ahead, look at him. Place things on one of the beds. Shirts, suits, coats, socks. Even out. Went to the telephone, made a long distance call. Somebody's advice over the telephone. Someone not his wife. Yeah, well. Is he drinking a full glass of milk? Of yes. course he is. My nightly milk. My nightly milk. All of a sudden she goes away on a trip and leaves it behind. Why? Because she didn't know she was going on a trip, and where she's going, she wouldn't need the handbag. She went to death. <laughs> and that jewelry. Women don't keep their jewelry in a purse. Get it. We have all one. Night. I'm going to stay with you. Hey. Hey, hey. She's criming her way in, into the draws. I have to stay here and solve crime with you till the morning. Because that's the only way that you will accept me into your life. That is the smallest suitcase I've ever seen. You could put like one book in there. The fact that she had to bribe him with helping him solve a crime to be able to spend the night is insane. He's a Sigma male. 
butches of the seductive showgirls and the overpassionate daughters of the rich is the same. That's the one. He's insistent on killing the mood. She's trying to talk about other things and he's trying to talk crime. Just warming some brandy. Tom, this is Miss Lisa Fremont. We think Thorwald's guilty. It was a yesterday morning. You figure that out, eh? Well, it's simply Does this do anything? They're just all just uh swirling their alcohol and not drinking it. What is this, bro? I'm gonna start doing this to all my drinks, bro. My water. Dude, dude. I checked the railroad station. He bought a ticket. Ten minutes later, he put his wife on a train. Might have been a woman, but it couldn't have been Mrs. Thorpe. I would be like, give me back my liquor. Get all about this. We can tell lies about the good old days during the war. Oh, is she, is she on a date, finally? I think she, uh... Brought somebody home. She been practicing. Practice. Is he gonna be a nice guy? They told me on the podcast that I should never pay. At the house? But they're at house. Oh. Did they even... No, right away. That did no. nothing. No. Nope. I could still see. Those blinds are pretty weak. He looks like a Muppet. Just... <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. Is that freaky for 1950? Oh, yes it is. <laughs> wow, I can see your elbows from here. <laughs> I Whoa. thought that was Nicole shouting for some reason. I don't. I don't <laughs> Poor doggo. Neighbors. Neighbors like each other. Speak to each other. Care if anybody lives. She's giving like a monologue to the block. Yes. Go inside. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing in this whole neighborhood. Of he definitely killed the, the dog. Whole courtyard. Yeah. Only one person didn't come to the window. Oh, he oh. didn't even look out because no. he knew it. Two yellow zinnias in this end aren't as tall as they were. Now, since when do flowers grow shorter in two weeks? There's something buried there. Mrs. Thorwald. You haven't spent much time around cemeteries, have you? Okay, now he's got a whole Scooby gang. She's gonna die. She's gonna die, bro. Why are you sending in the shorty to do this, man? Oh no, she's down in pills! I'll just start blasting how to save a life and just look at her. During the phone conversation, he held up three rings, one with a diamond, one with a big stone of some sort. The and... last thing she would leave behind would be a wedding ring. Stella, do you ever leave yours at home? I haven't seen a phone book in so long. I remember if a number wasn't in the phone book, you just didn't know it. If it's not in the phone book, you don't know it. I'd pick it up, Thorwald. A pre-caller ID. Be like... This is definitely the neighbor with the voice who sounds like this. For <laughs> hotel, do it right away. Why should I? Well, the estate of your late wife. I don't know what you mean. He's a horrible lookout. Watch him come into the apartment. Who is this? Uh, this a babysitter. Oh, uh, well, when do you expect a man? Well, I'm hired. This sounds like a slave. You two in love. You're doing too much. And he said that she wouldn't be able to handle his world. Oh my gosh, she really is. She's agile. Assassin's Creed. No. I couldn't do this. I know you couldn't. <laughs> Y'all are not paying attention to what you're supposed to. Let's try it once from the beginning. Miss Lonely, huh? You're not watching the person you're supposed to be watching. Oh! Oh, oh he's gonna geez. okay. Lisa. Lisa. Oh my gosh! She's ah. gonna die. Man is assaulting a woman at 125 West 9th Street. This is really suspenseful, though. Is he gonna try to flirt her way out of this? He's about to let her get killed. You better walk over there with your broken leg. She's gonna die. Oh! Those are the fastest moving cops I've ever seen. Well, you know. I it's never a white neighborhood. <laughs> Dude, it is like a bougie place. <laughs> oh! Turn off the light, you see. Oh my gosh! He pays no attention. He's coming for him, and he doesn't even know it. I don't know what. I hope the door is locked. If they chilling like white people, relaxed the with the locked. door and locked. Yeah, you weren't paying attention. You are the worst at surveillance. You can talk and look at the same time. He's verifying his home. Lock the door. If you don't go over and lock the door immediately. He's here. Like he knows it's him. No one else is gonna turn the hallway light out. Oh, this is wild. This is a terrifying shot. What do you want from me? The girl could have turned me in. Why didn't she? It seems like he's more scared than... Right. This is only gonna work for so long. He's just gonna die. 
Laser! Doyle! Imagine getting choked out by Perry Mason. Dude! Well, finally, as somebody else is looking out their windows... He's throwing him out the window. Okay. I guess more than his leg is about to be broken. <gasps> Whoa! Hey, Jeff, I got here as fast as I could. Gee, I'm proud of you. You've done enough for a search Oh my gosh! Now. I would move into the murder apartment. It's probably cheaper. I would hate to see everyone's full life from my window. I thought he was paralyzed. I thought he was Stephen Hawking up in here. Now you got both cats. <laughs> that was good. That was tight. Uh, Alfred's theme, Eminem, bad song. Bad album. That whole album was bad. <laughs> Nicole, Psych Your Crime, Crimes, Podcast. So bad it's genius. I know I'm still this birthday.